Hello friends, Professor Rao here. Welcome to Let's Crack the Interviews channel. Today let's talk about the time management, which is very important pertinent for all of us. What's time management? Why time management? And how to manage time? And what are the tips, tools and techniques we need to follow in uh, managing, leveraging, optimizing time? What we are going to see in the brief uh, video. And very often, do you feel one of these aspects in during the course of a day? Do you, do you say that I'm busy all the time? Do you say that I wish I have more than 24 hours per day? Do you say that I can't balance my personal and social life and now and added professional life? There's a lot and that I want to do but too little time. I feel that I delay things and tend to be lazy. Don't want to waste my time. These are some of the regular statements rather we we use it uh, in order to uh, what leverage optimize time in the process of doing that but many a cases we are unable to do that why what could be the reason time is a very important judicious democratic uh, resource 24 hours per day is what actually is available for being the prime minister president or a, a professor or my time management Time is perhaps one of the most precious resource. It is our disposal. What we do with that resource is totally under our control. Isn't it? A lot of people complain that they don't have adequate time, but one day equals to 24 hours for everyone. And uh, time management be called life management because if you live for 100 years and break it down into uh, months, weeks, years, and uh, days and hours, those many number of hours we have are the lifetime. Therefore, time management can be called as life management. To save time, we need to time, friends. An instance in a day, and first 20 30 minutes, you sit down and uh, spend some time and check a plan and prepare a checklist of items to be done for the rest of the day. That will really work wonders and that will help you in maximizing, optimizing, and leveraging your time. Why time management? What you accomplish during 24 hours per depends on your totally on your motivation, your intention your uh, aspirations and your ability, energy, skills and ability. Since there are always demands on your time, it's helpful to think about what you will do with your time and how to consider some strategies to for effective time management. Oftentimes we say that uh, we are not finding time, we are finding study here. We tend to work with unclear objectives or objectives of achieving a particular goal, I mean particular activities or output for the day are not clear we we, we start with the unclear objectives and we are not organized in our time in our desk or in our workstation or in our thought process disorganization we don't know how to say no ability to say no is an important impediment and uh, that makes it difficult to manage time and interruptions we have an interrupted I mean, interruptions in the form of phone calls, interrupted more interruptions in the form of uh, added conversations and uh, inappropriate times and people scheduling uh, meetings uh, with uh, when you are busy and when you are, your day is full and sudden visitors will try to have your time and too many things at the same time. You have an anxiety and uh, it's called intention of doing too many things at the same time which is also makes time and difficult. You're supposed to do one thing at a time and multitasking is not really a good idea. Take time in minutes and hours will take care of themselves is what? Lord, that said, you to understand prioritization. How do we prioritize? You need to understand two things, friends. Number one, we need to understand what is urgent and what is important. Urgent situation, may sometimes may not uh, be very important for you whereas the important tasks are the tasks that help you and that adds value and that help you in contributing to your overall mission values and your goals so there are four d's in prioritization do delegate delay and delete let's see what it is and why prioritization most important thing is we need to focus on important tasks because these important tasks are the tasks that will contribute to your end of the uh, results and goals at the end of the day and therefore the important task may be called as big rocks and then smaller rocks are probably less important gravel is 
this to uh, put it, put the big rocks in first is the moral of the story as per the diagram time management we need to talk about matrix friends time management has a, a quadrant q1 q2 q3 q4 q1 quadrant 1 talks about uh, uh, urgent but urgent and important where you have to take action in a crisis situation q2 not important but urgent those tasks are not important urgent which you can delegate delay and reach or see i mean uh, take it off from the list and which are not really contributing to your overall goals and objectives of the day so that's very very critical and important and here is the representation of what are those some of the examples of uh, q1 q2 q3 q4 aspects in our time management don't uh, yeah, do important jobs now before they become urgent. So, Q2 is the most prudent people, wise people spend time in Q2 because it's not urgent but important. They, you have, they are like a prevention, relationship building, recognizing your opportunity, executing your, you know, your project with a planned and you know, organized manner. So, you have a work on it. Q2 is the heart of effective time management is what leadership gurus say that. In the prioritization matrix, effective people stay out of Q, Q3 and Q4, urgent or not, they are not important. That's why Q3, Q4, we can stay out of it. Effective people shrink Q1 down to size by spending more time in Q2 activities. Quadrant 2 is very important. If you focus adequately on Quadrant 2, you're, you can shrink Quadrant 1 down to size. Q2 activities are the heart of effective time management, which is very, very important. If you don't handle Q2, Q1, Q2 properly, quadrant 2 activities properly, they become Q1 and that's when you are frequently do firefighting. Crisis handling, you can avoid it, friends. For two people, like Stephen Covey, where the fifth habit talks about put first things first, which means he says that first things first, which are important things first, rather. It's all about that particular habit is all about time management. Please read that book, procure the book. Also visit this site, skillsunit.com, chat time management, balancetime.com, uh, another uh, website reference, which you can help you in leveraging, man managing, optimizing, and maximizing your time frames. That's all I'd like to say in this video. Thank you very much for your time.